rated M for mature. Out with this lock. Okay. Done. There's the graveyard. going come on what are we looking for now all right there it is Great. They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. The fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. A mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door or do I have to go with them? Elizabeth. It's her. How are you, mother? Locked up in there, huh? Looks like you and I have some common ground. Let me do it. No. Let me do it. Mother is raising the dead. Oh, 
Don't die! Oh. Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when. The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was. What reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She is both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension. It's a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. You have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. No, you don't understand. She... she doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just... I'm not so sure it was her. 